Hello friends. Our today's question is substring with concatenation of all words. Okay. So what we are given in this question is we are basically given an string S and an array of string words. Okay. And it is also given that words each word in this word uh, array are of same length. Okay. And uh, they have told like concatenated string is a string exactly contain all the string of any permutation of the words concatenated. Okay. So whatever the words given in this words a vector or array so uh, all the uh, like all the permutation of these words are called the concatenated substring okay if we are forming a string using all the words of this words array so that will be called uh, called as concatenated string okay so the example is also given like this words array contain a b c d e f then a b c d e f a b e f c d so as we are using words a b is used as a single entity e f is used as a single entity and cd is used as a single entity so using these words if we are forming any permutation so it will be and forming uh, use uh, any uh, any permutation is resulting into a string so it will be called as concatenated string okay so what we have to do now so we are given with a words array and uh, so we have to uh, for any permutation of these words uh, we are uh, we are forming and called concatenated string and if this string is present in our string s then we have to return the starting index where it is present okay so okay so like basically we are uh, if we see this example like let's say this example so in this case for words foo bar uh, words we are uh, we are given a string s and we are given words okay word are foo and bar so if we found permutation of this so what will be the first permutation that will be foo bar and other will be bar foo okay so these are the permutations that we can form of these two words okay so what basically we have to check whether this uh, uh, concatenated substring is present in this string if it is present then we have to return the starting index okay so like we can see like bafu is present in the starting from starting so it's a starting index is zero so we have to return the starting index so zero is return then again we can check fuba okay fuba is also present so what is the index of this zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine so nine is there okay so this is our result understood uh, so like this uh, in this case like we are given an string as we are given uh, with the words so if I for any permutation of these words if uh, we are having uh, that permutation present in this string as so we have to return the starting index from where that word is is a starting present in this string okay so this is the first example for second example like okay so we are in bar the so if we trade if we trade it now uh, ba fu the okay so then uh, we are having ba okay so first word we have got that is ba okay the fu uh, also we have got but fu is again present but in these words fu is only present one time so it is given like okay exactly uh, concatenated string is a string that exactly contains all the string of any permutation of the words okay exactly exactly what it, it said that like if fu is present if the if words contain only one foo then whatever the permutated string that we are forming using these words should also contain foo only one time okay but in this case who is appearing two times so we will ignore this so what we will do we will start with next index okay next index will be like we have started with the zero index but uh, we will uh, okay so uh, we have to skip the length of these character like the length of the word is three okay so first three we can skip uh, so again we will start from foo so foo is there okay first word we have got then again foo is there so again it will be rejected then again we will start from foo okay so foo and ba and the okay uh, uh, foo is present ba is present and the is present okay so we have got our first permutation so what will be the length of this is it will be okay so it will be uh, uh, three uh, six okay it will be six then in the same way the ba the fu is also present ba the fu it is another okay so that will be nine and the fu bar this will be 12 okay so we have got our in uh, uh, the combination the permutations of uh, these words at six nine and twelve indexes okay so this is basically our question now to solve this approach so we will discuss the approach here okay now let's quickly rub this uh, okay so okay now what basically we are having we are having words okay we are having words so what we can have if uh, 
we have to like we have to check whether foo if foo is appearing inverse if foo is one time so in our permutation string foo will also be one time bar is one time so it should also be one time so sometimes we are dealing with the uh, like pairs like uh, we have to uh, maintain the frequency or the count of these words okay so what we will use we will have we will use map here so one map two map we will use for that reason i will explain one map will be the like a uh, reference reference map so what reference map will have reference map will have the exact count of the words okay like uh, it will have exact count of the word like foo is present one time and bar is present one time now another map that we will use a stamp let's say temp map okay so what will have so what we will do we will iterate the loop and we will find the substring um, we will iterate this string we will iterate this string okay we will iterate this string and find the substring of the length which is equal to the length of word okay and we will check whether this is present uh, we will store that in temp like for in this case we will we are having bar so what we will do we will store bar here um, bar we will store one and then after storing we will check with the reference map whether its frequency is less than or equals to uh, the frequency which we are having in reference map if it is less than or equals to then we are good but if it is greater than that now so in that case we have uh, uh, like we uh, we are not satisfying or meeting our criteria of exactly having uh, words equals to uh, this frequency okay so in that case we will break the loop okay so what we will have first of all now it, uh, now in the sa sa same way like uh, first three we have taken now next three characters we will take so it is foo okay so again we will store its frequency and check foo we will again store its frequency and check okay foo, foo we have got now it's, we will check its frequency to the reference map yes it is also equal so we we will not break the loop okay and then after like uh, okay so we will count uh, we will maintain a count of the words that we are getting so if its count become equals to the size of words in that case uh, in that scenario we have found our permutation okay so we will store the starting index in our resultant array okay so this is basically the case so what we will use we will iterate first of all we will iterate to this string from starting from starting to i will say like okay from i will be iterating i we will iterate from zero to Mm, size of let's say size of uh, s is n minus uh, let's say size of word is l into overall word size is m okay so we will iterate up till here because uh, in a i will be the outer loop we will have inner loop j so what j will do j will iterate okay uh, to uh, know the iteration value of j first we need to uh, think one point like in this word we are having each word of length three okay three and how many words we are having we are having two words okay so the length in which we will find our permutation is six okay in this case we are having word size is three and total word we are having is three so in the sub string or the string of nine length we we have to check these words okay so j will iterate from i to size of these like uh, in this case three into two that is six okay so j will run six time okay so what we will do we have placed our i here in the starting and for first six characters okay first six character we will iterate using j and we will check we will take a, a we will take a string of size that is equals to the length of the word and we will check that uh, we will store its frequency in our temp and we will we will check this frequency with the reference map if it is okay then we will continue and if it is not okay then we will break and we will start with the next value of i okay why we are using next value of i because if in case b is here okay so for the uh, i is equals to one all our permutations will go wrong okay but i is equals to two we will get our resulting strings okay so that is why we will iterate i from 0 to uh, n minus l into m okay so i think we have pretty well understood the question and the approach that we are using to use now let's look to its implementation so it will be more clear for us okay so first of all we have to make a reference uh, reference map so what we will do an ordered map
that will be a string comma end okay and then let's say it will be count then uh, we will have <coughs> uh, length of s so we will have s leng th s length is equals to s dot leng th okay then we will have word length to so w leng th is equals to we are having same mm, uh, same size same uh, each word of same size same length so what we will use zero r w r d s words zero dot l e n g t h length okay so we have word length then uh, we will have int uh, total size of the words okay so word w dot size is equals to w r d s words dot size okay uh, now we will have a vector to store our result result okay so this will contain our results now what we will do first of all we will uh, make our reference uh, map that is count so string s in uh, words what we will do c o u n t count of s plus plus okay so we have formed our reference uh, reference map okay now what we will do we will iterate using i and i is equals to zero then i is less than equals to length of s s l e n g t h length minus what we have word l e n g t h length multiply by w dot s i z e size okay then what we will we will increment our i value now okay so this for this uh, now we have to uh, maintain for a uh, particular value of i we will maintain the frequency uh, for this w length into w size okay so we will have another map temporary map and o r d e unordered map um a s t r i n g string s t r i n g string comma int that let's say temp okay now we will have int world count that will that will count the number of words that we have encountered uh, which are uh, which are the part of our result okay now what we will do we will iterate for int j is equals to i then j will be iterate up till i plus length now uh, now it will be length okay so w l e n g t h length multiply by w size okay and j will be incremented plus is equals to w l e n g t h because uh, okay so j why we are uh, it, uh, j to w length because its uh, value is 3 so first after three characters we have encountered then next three characters we have to check so directly we can if j can jump from here to here okay so this is the case uh, so loop will be here then we will have int c u double r n t current mm, current uh, what can say word current word is equals to s dot s u b s t r that will begin from uh, that will begin from uh, j up till uh, w l uh, l e n g t h okay so it will begin up till there so this will have a word that we current word this will have current word okay now what we will do this we have got the current word then we will increment the our frequency of temp very uh, temp map for current word okay so we have incremented now we will check whether we have ex exceeded or we are in limit okay so temp of uh, cu double r ent current word if temp of current word is less than or equals to uh, co unt count of c u double r e n t current word if it is less than equals to then we are good so we will increment the word count count plus plus okay or else in other case when we will have a, we will we were we are not in the correct zone so we will break okay so after this loop time minutes what we will do we will check if w r d word count is equal equals to 
size okay so sizes as uh, that is size uh, w dot size okay if it is uh, if it is equals to size then what we will do we will uh, push back our answer so we will in result we will push back we will push back the uh, now i is the starting because uh, we are starting with like so let's say uh, we are i is here and we are iterating uh, to the sixth length using j so i is the starting so i is keeping track of the from where we have starting our current string okay so we will push back i so i will have our resultant from where we have started so at the end we will return retu or return resu at the result now let's run this capital A okay now let's run this we are uh, oh sorry it should be string as we arrange this string now let's run this it is accepted now let's submit So it is accepted successfully. Uh, so thank you for watching.